James Kaufman, World News Report today, December 2nd, 2024. God bless you and yours. No matter where you are in the world, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like STO and IRIS, along with AIA, will be down until some point in 2025. They're saying it's because of a water leak at Stanford University. How could they have all their eggs in one basket and one small pipe break, causing all of our satellite data to be unavailable for a year? That's what they're saying here. The status of JSOC, Joint Science Operations Center, an affected SDO and IRIS data distribution systems. I'm not going to go into everything they've said here, but here is what's going on. On Tuesday, November 26, 2024, a 4-inch chilled water pipe in the Solar Dynamic Observatory Joint Science Operations Center, the JSOC server room broke. This caused major flooding in the building and extensive water damage in the lab that houses the machines that process and distribute data from the Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager, HMI, and the Atmospheric Imaging Array, AIA, instruments, and from the IRIS spacecraft. So they're taking away all of our views of space except for our GOES. If something happens to that GOES satellite, we are blinded. There will be no light. Now, let's continue here. The Stanford JSOC team is working to ass assess the extent of the damage, but it is severe. Science data processing for HMI, AIA, and IRIS will be down for an extended length of time, as will access to the archive data at JSOC. Completely ridiculous. The data capture system for all three instruments remains functional, so ultimately Sometime in 2025, the incoming data will be available. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is really, really crazy. The team will provide updates as more information becomes available. We deeply regret any inconvenience. We appreciate your patience as our team prioritizes the repair and recovery of the affected systems, which is all of them. How long will the outage last? At this point, it is unclear how long it will take to assess the damage, repair the equipment, and completely recover. We do know that the damage is extensive and will not be completed until sometime in 2025. There won't be any loss of data, but we won't be able to see anything till then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable. Now, they're going to have the historical data available through another server. Big deal. What really went down here? Why are they really shutting off three of our most important satellites? It's unbelievable. What about recent real-time data needs for space weather and space environment data products? There's only one. There's only one. Uh... SDO data must switch to alternative sources such as solar ultraviolet imager, gong, solus. Those don't work at all. What should be done during the outage over the next year for exhibits and displays that rely upon up-to-date solar images? Well, the only thing they have available is Goes solar ultraviolet imager or ground based magnetograms? You gotta be kidding me. This is it. This is it. It's all, all left to this. They'll never be able to tell you if there's an inbound chromos ejection again. 
Uh, that's all she has. It's all down, except for this small part here, our ghost solar vault, uh, ultraviolet imager, and they have different angstroms. We usually look at the 195 angstrom. But this is more than a huge deal. I have no idea what's going on here. Thank God GOES is our most important satellite. Why would all of the equipment for all the satellites be in one little room in Stanford University and a four inch pipe that bursts ruin all the servers? Why aren't there dual servers, backup servers? Why aren't these servers at the, well, at the NASA headquarters in Alabama or in Boulder? or at the Jet Propulsion? Why are they at Stanford University? And again, why aren't there backups? Nothing has happened supposedly to the satellites, just to the servers that handle the data, which will now be unavailable until 2025. Pretty hard to believe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Scary, I'll say. We'll never be able to know when a coronal mass ejection is coming in without STO. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.